All right, you guys, what's happening? This is episode 15 of the Aberdeen Adventure. Most importantly, this is episode one of season two of the Aberdeen Adventure. It was a FIFA 19 career mode where we placed Aberdeen in the League One after being told we were League One standard during the Europa League run. And in season one, we won it, and we're now in the championship. So, it is currently the 1st of July. Here's a look at the teams that we've got in the division. We have Aberdeen, Blackburn, Brentford, Bristol City, Cardiff, Derby, Huddersfield, Hull, Leeds, Luton, Middlesbrough, Millwall, Norwich, Preston, QPR, Reading, Rotherham, Sheffield United, Sheffield Wednesday, Stoke, Sunderland, Swansea, Wigan and Wolves. So that is the challenge for season two. Before we move on though and figure out what our intentions really are for this season, we'll have a look and see what the board want us to do. So they want us to reach the round of 32 in the FA Cup, we did that last season. They want us to finish mid-table in the Championship, so that's not bad. And they want us to grow one Youth Academy player by at least five overall, which we did last season. We'll try and do it again. I think realistically what we're aiming for this season is a top six finish. It's going to be a challenge. But that's going to be the aim this season. Try and get into the top six, and if you end up in the playoffs, then anything can happen. Pre-season tournament invite, we will play, well, I say that, we will accept, but I don't have any interest in playing, but it might help boost our transfer budget a wee bit. There is no really any interest in games here, though. I was kind of hoping one of the Scottish teams would pop up, eh, and we could hopefully get drawn against one of them, and hell, I might have even played it. Our first bit of business is we are going to try and permanently buy Wee Eddie. He is a fan favourite, one of my favourites and hopefully we can get him to come back. We actually do need to sign a striker, probably a backup one. If we get Eddie, he's going to be in and out of the side. So uh, 1.5 million, we'll see if we can get him for a wee bit less than that. The only stumbling block is going to be his wages. He's currently on 19 and a half grand and that is a problem. So we will see what we can do, but let's try and sign with Eddie. Welcome to Aberdeen, Mr. Henry. Sit down, we're talking Eddie. Let's be cheeky shites and try and get him for a mil. 1.8, right, okay. Counter, we will go to 1.4. See if that gets it done. 1.8, right. This isn't it great. <sighs> right, so 1.8 million, I'm not particularly happy about this, but we will negotiate and we'll see what happens. Right, we Eddie, we love you, you love us, let's get you tied up. I will accept him being important, he is important to us. Two year deal, no chance Eddie, you are coming for three. That's good, three years, we'll take that. Disregard release clause, you're not getting one. Oh shit, so I'm gonna have to propose wages. He's on 19 and a half grand a week, we can't really afford that. We'll try nine, but we'll be a wee bit generous with a signing bonus. So, Eddie mate, 120 grand. So Eddie is insulted and he's fucking off skate. Oh shit, this is a bad start. It's not happening here, is it? Right, that was a shit start. Uh, this is another guy we've been looking at, Jaden Bogle from uh, Derby. He's 18 years old, he's a 65 overall. We definitely need some fullback cover. So 875 grand he's worth. Let's try and get him for a wee bit less. Let's try and tempt you with 650 grand. Come on, man. 670, fucking sweet, right, that is not a problem, let's get this one done. Get yourself comfy, Jaden. we're going to get you signed up here, mate. Well, tell him he's a prospect, he might not be happy, he wants to be a rotational, let's not get too pissy, right. Two year deal, we'll see if we can get you to four, two year deal, right, okay. Uh, count R, three years, come on Jaden. Good lad, right. Oh, nice. So, he wants uh, 2,300 a week, 11 grand after he makes five appearances and 20 and a half grand as a signing bonus. No problem, Jaden. Welcome to Aberdeen. All right, that's our first bit of business done. That's good stuff. The next guy I've got my eye on is Ethan Ampadu. He's Welsh. He's a centre half for Chelsea. He is not the quickest, but he's so much faster than Mikey Devlin. And I believe we've only got two centre halves currently at the club. So, He's worth 1.1 million. I don't want to pay the release clause. Fuck off. Begin negotiations. Right, you lot. 800 grand. I'm being fucking generous. A million. Let's try and get you in the middle. Right, so they definitely want a million. Fuck it. Let's pay it. He is currently on 8 grand. That flashed up. So, if we can get him doing a, say, I don't know, 5, I'll be quite happy. Welcome in, Ethan. Your hair looks fucking sexy. We're going to pay you less money. Don't worry, pal. You will make it back in shampoo adverts. Right, wants to be a rotational. That is good shit. 
three year deal, you know what? We'll get you to five. Still wants three. Seems to be the pattern. You can only get them up one. Let's get you to four. Good lad. All right, so uh, that's decent. He wants 5,400 a week. 50 grand signing bonus and 53 grand after 10 appearances. I know it's being pissy, but let's just try and get you to a wee round number of five grand. Oh, fuck's sake, right? Sod it. 5,200. I can't be arsed arguing over 200 quid a week. Welcome to the club, Ethan. Right, so, uh, decent start after we fucked up the Eddie deal. I was having a look at Chrissy Cadden, but I'm not paying two million for him, to be honest. All right, so here's Jaden Bogle. He's 18 years old. He's only a 65 but I am reliably informed by my scout that he's got decent enough potential that he'll eventually be a good starter. So he's going to be back up at right back and left back. We definitely needed one and we got him reasonably cheap, so I'm quite happy with that. Ethan Ampadu is a 66. He is, again, 18 years old. He is rotation status and exciting prospect, so that's what we like to see. We have another few guys that we are currently still scouting. I'm waiting for an overall rating on them and we will get back to them in a bit. And both of those guys filled that need. So, excellent. We are fucking rolling along this season already and it's only the 2nd of July. We got a transfer offer for Joe Lewis. That isn't happening. Go away. Standardly ish as well. Uh, Douglas Strachan still won't accept any loan. Let's try anyway. And John Murray, who's a young fullback. He's not quite there yet, but we'll loan him out to Albacete. Both of them turned in the loan moves. Arseholes. Uh, Luzerne want to sign David Craddock. We're never going to play David Craddock. It's only 125 grand, but who gives a fuck except... Forrester, transfer offer, 980 grand. Uh, you know what? Let's negotiate with LA Galaxy. We have got shit tons of midfielders. If I can get a good offer for them, I might just take it. Right, you're probably going to storm out in a half, but two million... <laughs> Fucking hating that, innit? He's come all the way over for LA for one bit of negotiation and he's pissed off already. You know what? You could really do with a loan. You're going to China, but who cares? And somebody's made an offer for Stephen Gleason. Stephen Gleason has been completely ignored, so we're going to negotiate this. 650 grand, pal. Sweet, right? Excellent. So 650 grand for Gleason. We are never going to play Gleason ever again, so that is a nice wee bonus. We got through to the semi-final of the International Cup, so 704 grand in the pot, good stuff. Oh shit, right. Enketi has had an offer from Leipzig, let's get back into our transfer hub. Try and get him on loan, fuck it. Welcome back you and I, let's talk again. Fuck it, two years. Let's try and get him on a two year loan. Oh yes, right. 60-40, oh Christ, eh, uh, let's try and get you doing for that. Uh, 40. Sweet. Right, so we'll have to hear back for Eddie on that one, but uh, yeah, we have agreed a loan deal for him, and hopefully we'll fucking get him. Loan offer for Bruce Anderson. I doubt he'll take it, but fuck it. He's getting better, so hopefully a wee year out on loan, he will be class. Okay, an offer for Mikey Devlin. Only a million as well, right? The problem is, uh, we are going to have to turn that down, because we don't have any cover at centre half but we may revisit that at some point 2.35 million for Stevie May it's tempting but you know what our squad is a bit thin at the moment that we can't afford to do that just yet we won the European International Cup and we got 1.4 million for it so that is good shit Gleason sold good shit Craddock is sold happy days one more guy we're going to try and sign Debar Caicedo He's worth a million, he's only a 65, but we're gonna try and bring him in. Let's be cheeky and offer 700 grand. Oh, fuck, no danger, right? So, end negotiation, that one isn't happening. Sorry for wasting your time, mate. Right, there's also Anthony McDonald from Hearts, we could do with a right midfielder. Uh, 1.4 million, we'll see if we can get him for a mil, fuck it. Right, weird looking Craig Levine, sit down, I'm gonna fucking rip you off. 1 million, you miserable bastard. All right, 1.2 and 3% of the transfer fee, right? Fuck it, we'll, we'll, we'll take your wee sale on, but we'll try and get you doing to 1.1. Come on, Craigie boy. Oh, fuck's sake, right? Balls to it. We'll accept that. Right, Anthony, we'll get you away from that piddly wee club in Gorgie. He expects to be an important player. Don't be fucking ridiculous. You are rotation. Oh, for fuck's sake. So that we'll lie to you, we'll pretend you're important, and let's see what your wage demands are like. Five years, come on, pal. Sweet, right, that's better. Right, I've got to offer the first deal. 
He's on 1.4 at the moment. Let's get him to two and a half grand and we'll offer him 30 grand to sign on. Fuck it. Come on, Anthony. Let's make this happen. Yes, right. So Anthony McDonald's in. A guy with really, really good potential. He's not the quickest for a winger, but he can also play centre midfield. So, uh, happy to get him in. I really need to train this guy up on his pace because he is pretty slow for a winger. But... Um, he's got great potential, so fingers crossed we can do something with him. And now we've got four good wingers. GMS, we've got Niall McGinn, we've got Scott Wright, and now we've got Anthony McDonald. So that's a good bit of business so far. Oh, shit. Right. So Eddie has turned down our loan. This is a problem. Bastard. Villas Sarsfields want to buy Scott Wright. Fuck off. Okay, so this guy is 18 years old, he's a 60, and we need centre halves, so let's try and sign him. Right, sporadic, that's fine, good stuff. Length of contract, we're not going to go mad, we'll say three years, didn't he be an arsehole? That's good. Right, oh, that's fine, superb. 1,300 with an 11.5 grand signing bonus, welcome to Aberdeen. This one is going to be a big challenge. Cameron Borthwick-Jackson, the fucking football manager regen name, right? Uh, he is affordable in terms of the transfer fee, but his wages at the moment are fucking ridiculous. He's on 34 and a half grand. But if we get him, we may consider, we will obviously start him and we may even consider letting Gersbach walk. So Cameron Borthwick Jackson, I'm sure we'll be able to get your transfer sorted. The problem will be your wages, you greedy bastard. All right, Josie, welcome to Aberdeen. 1.4 million, mate. Come on, Josie, didn't be a fanny. You're never going to play this lad. Oh, you're a dick, right? Counter, 1.5 million, Josie, you miserable bastard. 1.55, so they want the same as I paid for Haaland. That's fine. His fucking wages are going to be outrageous. Good lad, four years, right? Doesn't want a release clause. Good. Let's see how this fucking goes, right? Oh, fucking hell. One, oh, Jesus Christ. Christ, man. 210 grand signing on bonus. He wants 760 grand for 20 clean sheets. That is bonkers. And he wants 20 grand a week. Right. You know what? You are not worth that, so get out of my fucking office. Right, last bit of business we're going to try for the moment is this guy. Sandro Tanali, 69, 19 years old, centre midfielder. To be honest, I wasn't really looking at centre midfielders for this one, but... This guy uh, was scouted ages ago. He looks really, really good. And he's currently on 4,900 a week. So getting his wages, if we do get him bought, shouldn't he be a problem? Right, mate, 1.5 million. Oh, decent, right. 1.75, this would be our record signing. But screw it. We'll try 1.65 because we're skin flints. And we'll see if we can get you for that. Excellent, right. 1.65 million for Tanali. Sandro, I'm glad you're here in July, mate. The weather's fucking smashing outside. You'll fucking hate the winter, but let's talk to you before that. He's important. He is correct. Get that done. How many years? Fuck it. Let's try you for five. Oh, shit. Right, he only wants two. I will try four, but I know exactly what's going to happen. He's going to say, I want two, which he does. So I'm going to say, I want you for three. And he's going to say... Nay bother. Right, that's workable. So, uh, 3,200. Uh, signing bonus, uh, 30 grand. 15 goals, 71 grand. That's not bad. So, uh, that's decent. We will sign you. You are our new record signing, Sandro Tanali. Sandro Tanali's getting Gleason's number. Uh, I'm hoping we can get him built up as it goes. We will obviously be training him and trying to get him good. My only issue with Sandro is that his shooting is absolutely woeful. So, um, he's probably not going to be taking long range shots but his passing is already very good for where he is so hopefully he's going to be a good wee player in the middle of the park ok Buenos Aires have bid 14.2 million for Scott McKenna he is by far our best player he is good enough to play in the Premier League so we could change a lot of things if we accepted this but it's no fucking happening we are keeping Scotty. so Bruce Anderson's gone on loan that's good stuff we still need centre halves I'm going to try and sign this Giacomo Ravanelli as well. Right, Ravanelli, mate, you're a prospect. Don't be fucking silly. Oh, piss off, right? So, we'll accept sporadic, bugger it. Sweet, that'll do. He wants 1300 a week. You know what? You'll probably not like this, but I'm going to try and get you down to a grand. We'll see how it goes. Oh, shit, right, OK. 
okay, fuck it, we'll get you in, why not, we've got space. There's an offer for Forrester, 1.1 million, uh, good stuff, right, uh, you know what, let's not mess around, we'll accept it, and wish you the best, Forrester. So here's what the team's going to look like when we start the season, Joe Lewis in net, Logan, Gersbach, the fullbacks, McKenna paired with Ampadu at centre half, we have Shinny and Tonali in midfield. Mackay, Stephen and McGinn are still going to start on the wings. Stevie May is going to be behind Haaland still. So we've not made massive changes. There's only really two guys who we've just signed in there. But on the bench, we've got Anthony McDonald and we've got a uh, Bogle. We are reasonably well set up for the season. The only thing we could really do to do is get another striker in. Because I did loan out Bruce Anderson thinking I would eventually get Eddie. But it didn't really happen. We've still got about a month of the transfer window to go, so shouldn't it be a problem, but hopefully we will get that done. And to be honest, our strategy right now is sign young players and young players who are already good enough to at least get in the squad and who within hopefully six months will be among some of our better players. So rather than going out and trying to sign one guy for big money, we are slowly building the squad. So uh, let's have a look to see who we will be playing in the first few games of the championship. Right, to start with, we are Friday night football away to Wolves. They were relegated for the Premier League, so we will be visiting Molyneux to open up the season. We will host Derby in our first home game in the championship, and then Revenge is on the cards. We have Exeter City in the Carabao Cup. They pumped us 3-0 last year in the second round of the Carabao Cup, and we've got them again. So fingers crossed, we will get revenge on them and have a wee run in that. And the episode will finish with a visit to Rotherham. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like the video below. Subscribe if you're new. I am regularly uploading this career mode. So if you are going to be sticking around, I would very much appreciate if you could hit that subscribe button. So I've been QMJ and the championship will get underway sometime.